So let's say Freddy was born in the 40s. Conservatively, at the earliest, it would have had to have been in the year 1941, if we go by what Alice says in Part 5, with the asylum operating and being shut down in the 40s, meaning that Amanda would be 33 years old at the time of her rape. Now, if we dive deeper, we find out in Freddy's Dead that Freddy's daughter Catherine was taken away in 1966, as said by the Springwood history teacher. Granted, he was insane, but the dreams of Maggie, or Catherine, whatever you want to call her, seem to corroborate that story. Judging by Catherine's appearance, I would estimate her to be around six years old at the time we see her in both Maggie and Freddy's memories, meaning she was born at the latest in 1960, placing Freddy around the age of 19, and then around 25 is when Catherine gets taken away, and then finally Freddy would be 27 years old when he dies, which sounds all good at face value, but something doesn't seem to add up for me, and it all revolves around Amanda's wording when she describes herself. Born in 1907, she first appears in A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, going by the name Sister Mary Helena and telling Dr. Neil Gordon about the rape of a young girl referring to herself and how it resulted in the conception of Freddy Krueger. Dr. Gordon also makes a reference about the wing of the facility they're speaking at and how it was shut down in the 40s due to some scandal. This conversation could easily be taken as that part of the facility being shut down in the 40s due to Amanda being raped, or even the conception and birth of Freddy, and you most certainly have more than a leg to stand on in that argument. However, that would likely mean that her assault also took place in the 40s as well, which would make Amanda the age of 33 at the youngest that it happened. This contradicts the wording that she used about herself being a young girl, since while 33 is younger than she's depicted in Part 3, it implies the incident actually happened much earlier in her life, especially since she had yet to gain her sisterhood since she was still going by her original name at the time of the incident. Given the meaning of the term young girl at that time in the literal sense, it likely places her around the age of 18 years old, meaning her rape would likely have taken place in 1925, with Freddie being born in 1926. So the question is, how old was Freddie when he died then? My theory, based on my research, and if we take Amanda Kruger at her word, Freddie would have been 42 years old at the time of his death, and there would have been at least a 13 year time gap between his death and the first appearance in the dreams of his victims, which would change the previous ages mentioned at the beginning of this video to him being 34 when Catherine was born, and then 40 at the time she was taken away, and finally 42 when he was burned alive by the parents of Springwood which to me matches far better with what we see in appearance with Robert Englund's age during Freddy's Dead and even later in Freddy vs. Jason. But that's my theory. Do you agree? Or do you think that Freddy was actually born in the 40s like Alice states? Comment below with your own theory and be sure to like, share, and subscribe as well as hitting the notification bell to be alerted whenever a new video was uploaded. And as always, I am JG Dark, and thanks for watching.